Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Breaking Defense reported the official certification of the F-35A stealth fighter to carry the B-61-12 thermonuclear gravity bomb, as announced by a spokesperson from the F-35 Joint Program Office, JPO. This certification, achieved on October 12, 2023, signifies the first instance of a fifth-generation stealth fighter being certified with a nuclear weapon, surpassing the initial target date of January 2024. This milestone had been communicated to NATO allies before its public disclosure. It establishes the F-35A as the first fifth-generation fighter with a dual-capable designation, meaning it can carry both conventional and nuclear weapons. Following the F-15E, it becomes the second U.S. fighter aircraft authorized to carry the B-61-12 thermonuclear bomb. The completion of this certification is the culmination of over a decade-long collaboration involving 16 government and industry stakeholders, according to JPO spokesperson Russ Gomer. This newly certified capability is positioned within the context of enhancing the operational range of the U.S. Air Force, particularly in deploying tactical nuclear gravity bombs in areas potentially contested by adversary defenses. Integrated with the stealth features of the F-35A, this capability is regarded as a strategic asset amidst current global tensions, including the conflict in Ukraine, aimed at bolstering the defense capabilities of NATO countries, especially those involved in the nuclear sharing arrangement and planning to integrate F-35As into their air forces. Approximately 100 B-61 tactical nuclear bombs are deployed across allied European countries, including Belgium, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, and Turkey. Although the detailed schedule for replacing older aircraft with F-35 as equipped with B-61-12 bombs in these nations remains unspecified, there have been indications of initiation in late 2022. The U.S. Air Force Air Combat Command anticipates all F-35 as in service to be upgraded to support this nuclear functionality, although specific operational details were not disclosed. The nuclear certification pertains specifically to the F-35A variant, positioning it to replace older F-16 fighters in terms of tactical nuclear capabilities. This differentiation sets it apart from other variants like the F-35B and F-35C, as well as from the F-22 Raptor stealth fighter, primarily focused on air-to-air -air combat. The F-35A underwent certain modifications to support the B-6112, including the installation of specific wiring and data links, as part of the Block 4 upgrades. However, not all Block 4 enhancements are necessary for the nuclear role. The U.S. Air Force emphasizes that this nuclear certification is limited to the B-6112 variant and does not extend to older models like the B-6113 or B-6114. The B-6112 is part of a broader nuclear modernization initiative, anticipating the development of newer versions such as the B-6113, as announced by the Biden administration. Introduced as the latest iteration in the B-61 series operational since 1968, the B-6112 features design modifications for both strategic and tactical applications, adopting a two-stage radiation implosion design enabling variable yield settings. Undergoing a life extension program, LEP, aimed at refurbishing and replacing aged components, the bomb seeks to extend its service life by 20 years while enhancing safety and reliability. With a budget of $7.6 billion allocated for the modification of 400 bombs, the program is slated for completion by 2025. Measuring 6.4 meters in length and weighing approximately 374 kilograms, the B-6112 is designed for various deployment methods, incorporating a new tail kit guidance assembly for improved guidance and accuracy, an inertial navigation system, INS, to enhance strike precision, and four warhead options, 0.3 kilotons, 1.5 kilotons, 10 kilotons, and 50 kilotons, to adjust detonation strength, thereby enhancing the survivability of the launch platform. That's all for now. See you later.